What's up, Benny Gang? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, yes, you guys read the title. What is in my stripper bag? Like, what did Kiva get herself into now? So, y'all, I was getting tired of clocking in, clocking out, and I'm just making like $100 every two weeks. Like, Yo, bitch need a real fucking job that's gonna pay. And every time I scroll up and down my Insta feed, it's just strippers with bags of money. And it's like, sis, like, what is you doing clocking in these people's dumbass fucking job getting paid $5 an hour for you to be there for eight hours? And you ain't getting shit. And it's like, bitches making a thousand a night. Like, sis. Time to switch your career up or something because it's ridiculous. But I don't need y'all judging me or anything. Like, I need y'all to be in the comments like, yes, sis, get your bag, sis. Like, I know that's motherfucking right, sis. Get it by any means necessary as bitch. So, if you guys want to be on this journey with me, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you're new to my channel, yo, my name is Kiva, and welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the buddy gang, buddy gang of this gang, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, if you guys are ready, let's get started with this video. Let's see what's in my bag. Well, let's start off by saying that my stripper name is Bum Bunnies. Like, a lot of people think it's cute and bubbly, just like me. Like, everybody fuck with me there. Like, I said fucks with me there. <laughs> everybody, like, really, really likes me there. Like, they, they like how I got, like, my own little creativity of shit. Like, with my own. Like, y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see all that. Y'all gonna see all that. Like, I'm creative with the shit. <laughs> I'm not a regular fucking stripper, bitch. Like, <laughs> come on now. Like, I stand out from all the other strippers. So, like, yeah. I couldn't afford some bundles. So, I went and got me some box braids and a bob, bitch. Fera did her thing. Like, bitch, do you see this shit? Like, so, this <clears throat> is how the hairstyle is originally is. Like, Farrah did her fucking thing. Like, bitch, like, you can't tell Farrah shit. If you guys want any protective style, dreadlocks, feet and braids, any fucking thing, y'all better hit up my bitch Farrah because, who, girl, she got them Haitian fingers. She do her thing or whatever, so y'all better hit her up. Well, let me not ramble anymore so this video won't be longer than it should be. Let's get started and let's see what's in my stripper oh, shit, bitch. My boobs and nipples and shit was out. <clears throat> This is what I carry everything in. I will stuff everything in here. Grab and go. First off in my stripper bag, <clears throat> I got about like three job applications that I need to be filling out. Because you know stripping is not life. I got a pencil to fill out the job applications, but I can't fill them out if it's not sharpened. I got napkins because sometimes, like, the bathrooms, they be having that cheap-ass shit. And who pussy finna burn? Any fucking ways. I bring my own tissue because, you know, you don't know what be going on in the bathroom. So, I got my toothbrush because sometimes I do forget to brush before I leave the house. So, I bring it just in case I forgot. I got a magnifying glass. So I can see who got the ones and who got the twenties, who got the honeys and the fifties. Cause if I see twenties over there and ones over there, where I'm gonna go to? To <laughs> exactly. So this is very convenient. <clears throat> I got wipes because we need to be wiping after every time we dance. Like sometimes I get drinks thrown at you. Sometimes while you twerking. People pour their drinks on your ass. So, I got this to wipe. Like, sometimes they be having... <clears throat> that felt good. Sometimes, like, they have wipes available. But, you know, I bring my own. Next up, I have perfume. Like... Not perfume, but body spray. I have body spray for days. Like, before a man see me, he gonna smell me. Okay? 
He gonna smell all this gummy licious, all this coconut. He finna smell some roses. And when he turn his head, he's gonna be like, oh, is she bad? Come here. But these are a must for me and I will bathe in them like he gonna smell all of this goodness so y'all ladies and this is a every this should be like an everyday routine for some of you guys like y'all should be bathing in these like y'all should be smelling good like guys love when girls smell good like and it's a good compliment when a guy be like damn you smell good like i know i like that feeling but this should be an everyday shit, so y'all should be using these. Even if you're not a stripper, boo-boo, y'all should be using these. I got this at Walmart. No shame in the game. I got this at Walmart for $5, so come on. I got my portable charger because my portable charger's all wet. I mean, because my phone's always dying, so I need a portable charger. I got gum. Yes, gum. And usually I get the blue extra, not the green one, but I went with whatever I saw first, but... This is for when I forget to brush my teeth. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I am just playing. This brush was for my edges. Y'all see how dirty it is? They're for my edges. I don't know why I thought this was funny, but y'all really finna be like, this bitch don't be brushing her teeth nasty yet. I got gum because you're gonna be interacting with people. You don't wanna be talking and your breath stink. Or talking and you're not trying to have them smell your breath so they really can't hear you. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, that. Here, what's up? Like, yo, I've been, I've been, like, yeah, then nobody can't hear you, sis. Open your mouth and use your words, boo. I like to pop in some gum, and the thing about it, I don't even really chew on gum like that. I'll chew it for, like, five minutes and throw the shit out. Anything to make my breath smells fresh and minty, you know, it's in my bag. I got deodorant. Who want to smell much? I don't bring, like, my whole makeup kit to the club because you don't you don't trust everybody around you so you can't just be bringing a lot of shit and then you can't remember what the fuck you brought so it's like you're probably losing shit and you don't even know i only bring my brush and my powder because you know my face do get oily sometimes so i gotta prep my skin real quick i don't really need all that i do my makeup at home so i don't have to get to the club get my makeup done worry about other shit like i just need to go put my shit up get dressed get clean like smell good feel good get me going and then onto the dance floor to make some money <laughs> if y'all know me y'all just know that lip gloss is my best friend been my best friend since five ever because my lips stay glossy I like to have my bling blings on sometimes. I got my Rolex with me, you know, that shit cost me about like 57 bucks or something. It blings, it blings. Okay, these are accessories that I would wear on me while I'm stripping. I got this little ankle, ankle little bracelet thing, like ice dripping. I I'm dripping in ice, like fake ice, baby. <laughs> I got weed in the scale, boo. I'm a stripper in the plug. What's good? Don't do drug kids. Do not do drugs. Hand sanitizer. Empty ass shit. Hand sanitizer essential. Like, bro, I'm fucking dermophobic. I swear. I won't open doors with my hands. Like, I'll open them with my elbows and shit. So if I do touch something with my hand, best believe I'm pulling this out. If it had any. And I'm using it, so you don't trust nobody. Somebody could have just took a shit and not wipe their ass, or they probably wiped their ass and not wash their hands and just touch the door handle. Like you just can't trust society nowadays. I always have like little shots with me, and that's the only one I would take for the night because I don't like stripping drunk. Cause then it's like I look a mess. Because my ass is everywhere and I'm just doing everything. I'm just on everybody. Then it's like I can't keep track of my money. Like, I'm talking from experience. So I take one of these before I go out to the floor. And that's about it. Um, I have my headphones in my bag. Because let me tell y'all a little something for some of y'all who don't understand. When these are plugged in here. When these are plugged in, meaning don't talk to me, let me walk past in peace, 
Like, I think that's the rule for everybody. Headphones on mean don't fucking talk to me, okay? I don't need no conversation. What are we having conversation for? So I do have my headphones in so I can block everybody else out. I also have my house key so I won't get locked out the house when I come back in because, you know, I have Haitian parents. This is what I mainly wear. Like I told you guys, it's October and I won't be wearing any shirts and that does include stripping. So when I do strip for the month of October, I don't wear no shirts. So it's a little thong or whatever. It gets all up in between my ass. <laughs> this is my favorite stripping outfit. It is a see-through. I don't wear nothing under it and it makes my ass thin out perfectly and I also wear these with some bunny ears so it's really cute like I told y'all creative like I told y'all creative ass stripper so bum bunnies catch me book me I also have a water bottle that's empty right now which I will be filling up because I do get thirsty a lot and I don't want to drink their water so I'll bring my own and I then I also have my stripping shoes I keep trying to tell y'all I'm not a regular fucking stripper. <sighs> so these Horachis, they're really comfortable. Like at first, when I first started stripping, like the manager was like, what the fuck? Like, bitch, what are you wearing type shit? And I'm like, yo, y'all really think I'm going to be busting my ass on some heels that I can't even walk in? Like, bro, no, y'all got me bent. So, I wear my Horachis or whatever. So, with my Horachis, I can hit splits jump on the bars like i can do anything that i want to do because they're so comfortable in um and yeah like that's about it that's everything that's in my stripper bag and i do use every single one of them so if anything's missing i will automatically know but i got one question for y'all though who believed me <laughs> like who believed that i was actually a stripper oh y'all like come on sis like come on like, half of y'all should know that i have a haitian fucking mom like how can i be a stripper so imagine like an old man who's my mom's friend who's at the club casually just chilling and he sees me like it's over with and shit or whatever but that could be a good prank right <gasps> let's get this video to 300 likes for me to prank either my mom or a family member to tell them that I'm a stripper. So let's get this video 300 likes. Y'all, I'm not really a stripper, but no shame to the strippers anyways. Like, get your bags, sis. Get your money. Do what you gotta do. But it's just not for me. Like, I couldn't see myself stripping. Like, honest opinion, that's like a, a, a rock bottom for me. Like, that's so low blow. Like, I feel like that would be like my last option if i don't have anything going on for me because like where i stay at everybody knows everybody and like i do have tough skin i really won't care about what people say because like you're getting your money but at the same time like people talk a lot like people talk a fucking lot growing up i've been protecting my image for god knows like how long because like i can't be seen twerking on like any fucking guy i can't be seen with guys touching on me like, like i represent like people like my mom my dad other people like other fucking people okay <laughs> they can't be like oh i seen kiva humping and grunching and on this person i seen kiva hitting the split half booty naked like no 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 offense to any fucking stripper get your fucking money sis it's just not for me like this video comment I need to see some comments down below. Let me know if you guys believe me or not. And let's get 300 likes for this prank. So if we get 300 likes within 24 hours, I will be doing this prank within 24 hours. So let's get the 300 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And I will see you guys later.